Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about expressions in Java. Expressions are basically a combination of operators and variables, or a logical test. For example, say we have uh, a variable called uh, of type integer called x which has a value 5 and another variable type integer called y which has value 10 y plus 10 would be an expression so it would be x plus y well these are simple expressions so which are not very complicated but what if we have something say um, double d equals x times y plus x divided by y. Now this is a little complicated and because since we don't have any parentheses or brackets the system has to determine how to compute this expression which one should you multiply first should you add y and x first or should you divide x and y first well for arithmetic operators it's not as complicated because there is this universal rule in mathematics which op applies with programming too called Board mass brackets of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So it will always divide first, multiply, then add and subtract. But there can be situations in programming since we learned about so many different operators about how which operator comes before which one, if we are, and especially if they're non arithmetic operators. So in that case, this is a table of. Uh, Java operators with lowest to highest precedence and based on that Java is going to uh, execute your expression so you know the bit shift operators the increment operators the bitwise uh, logical and operator and all of them have a sequence of uh, precedence and if you have a complex uh, expression with multiple of these operators Java is going to use this sequence to execute that but in general it's never a good practice to have an expression with multiple operators which which can be confusing and ambiguous what you'd want to do is express programmers intention clearly the way you would do that is that say I wanted X multiplied by Y to happen first I would put brackets around it then I would do add that I wanted to add the resulting value with X so I would put brackets around it again and then I wanted to divide the whole thing by Y in this case it's very clear which specific subset of this expression needs to execute first which one executes next and which one executes after that and that will be f that rule will be followed, and we don't have to rely on Java's default sequence of operator precedence. And not only it it is easy to understand and easy for the program to execute, but for anybody who comes after you who are who trying to improve this program, they will have an easy time understanding your logic. Another thing Java will automatically do is it will convert numerical primitive data types. For example, we have int x equal to 5, y equals to 10, and we have double b equals to 3.5. And I can say double c equals to b plus x in this scenario. Java will actually convert to a lower precision uh, value 
will convert since b is of type double and x is of type integer it will actually do a conversion and assign it to this dub double value c while while it, it can it can do it do the conversion automatically but you don't know which one how is it uh, how is it converting although there are some rules of how java does conversion and we'll talk about it but it's still not clear and therefore uh, we wouldn't recommend that you do that if you want to do some conversion we would explicitly convert it or, or we would so do something called casting in this case say we want c's of type double so we would do cast the whole value to double and b is of type double but i want b to be cast to integer and then added with x because x is of type integer this clearly says what's happening we are converting b into integer which will drop this 0.5 because integers cannot have decimal numbers so we're going to have this is going to be of value 3 x is of value 5 we'll add these with value 8 and we'll convert that to double so therefore c is going to equals 8.0 and this is very clear and that's what that's the way we would recommend that we explicitly cast values and uh, another thing is uh, thing about expression is that the type of expression is is a lot of times uh, the meaning of operators in an expression is determined by the operands so if we have a division operator if we have integer value here and integer value here then it's integer division what if you have double by double double we have double b and c here right so let's say we have c we have a divided by b since the type data type of these two variable is double it and double it therefore it's going to be high precision or floating point division if it was integer it would be regular integer division so in expressions the operators uh, uh, how the operator is actually going to function is determined by the operands the parameters which we pass to the operator and that's it for the class on 